वेलकम टू अवर चैनल दिस प्रेजेंटेशन इज ऑन एजुकेशनल रिसर्च एंड स्टेट द टॉपिक्स कवर्ड इन दिस प्रेजेंटेशन आर एटीट्यूड स्केल एंड रेटिंग स्केल सो वी स्टार्ट विद वट इज एटीट्यूड स्केल द वर्ड स्केल कम्स फ्रॉम द लेटिन वर्ड स्केल मीनिंग अ लैडर और फ्लाइट अ स्केल रिप्रजेंट्स अ सीरीज ऑफ ऑर्डर स्टेप्स at fixed intervals used as a standard of measurement an attitude scale is a special type of questionnaire designed to produce scores indicating the intensity and direction of a person's feeling about an object or event an attitude scale is a tool prepared for the purpose of measuring people's attitude to an issue is called attitude scale an attitude scale is designed to provide a valid or accurate measure of an individual social attitude like for example how does a patient feel towards their pain attitude scales gives different reactions like hopeful willing to endure searching for answer disapprove bitter hopeless but मतलब ये विचों तुसी एटीट्यूड स्केल साडे एटीट्यूड नु मेयर करदा असी किसे चीज नु देख के किदा रिएक्ट करदे हां दैट इज मेजर्ड विद द हेल्प ऑफ अ स्केल नोन एज एटीट्यूड स्केल डाइमेंशंस इनकॉर्पोरेटेड इनटू अ स्केल फर्स्ट इज डायरेक्शन सेकंड इज इंटेंसिटी एंड थर्ड वन इज डिग्री डायरेक्शन वाइज इट इज अ पॉजिटिव और नेगेटिव फीलिंग अबाउट समथिंग इट इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट ऑफ एटीट्यूड लाइक for example i like horse that is a positive direction i do not like horse that is a negative direction degree it describes amount of liking or disliking uh, attached to an attitude students may have different degrees of liking which can be measured from a moderate to strong to very strong the idea of degree can be applied to the negative feelings towards an object also then comes intensity it shows strength of feeling at a high degree of intensity some kind of behavior is motivated also the comparison of strength of one attitude to another may determine which becomes the basis of action example i am crazy about horses this shows high intensity and sometimes there is a low rate of intensity first attitude scale is thrust and scale it is a formal method designed to measure attitude it was developed by louis leon thruston in 1928 it is also known as a method of equal appearing interval it is made up of statements about the particular issue it consists of statements which have a range of ways from usually 11 to low usually 1 subject select attitudinal statements they agreed with the most so start with the construction of a thruston scale first step is the selection of the statements 60 short statements regarding the issue under study was collected but historically when that scale was constructed at that time statements taken was 130 statements were short straight forward and unambiguous secondly these statements should express opinions not fact statements should express all shades of attitude from unfavorable to neutral to favorable like i am taking example statements about the same sex marriage first it should be against the law there is absolutely nothing wrong with it it is in between a man and a woman it should not be a sin it's perfectly appropriate for two consenting adults it should be legalized it can harm children same sex couple should have the same legal right as male female couple it's just a horrible it can't do any harm these all are the statements regarding sex marriages after that selected statements were mimeographed on separate slips of paper statements were sent about to 30 judges but when thruston scale was constructed at that time statements were sent to 300 judges for sorting into 11 or 9 piles each statement should be put in one of the 11 or 9 piles category starting from extremely favorable to extremely unfavorable like one that is least favorable to the concept and 11 is the most favorable to the concept and other numbers lies in between from least to the most favorable concept 
computation of data. After the judges have categorized the statements, the frequency table to each statement is drawn, showing the number of judges put it in different categories. For example, that can be shown from the graph. From each statement, compute the median and interquartile range. What is median? That is the value of up and below which 50% of the rating falls. And the first quartile is the value below which 25% of the cases fall and above which 75% of the cases fall. In other words, the 25th percentile. The median is the 5th percentile. The third quartile, Q3, that is the 75th percentile. The interquartile range is the difference between the Q3 or the Q1, that is between the third and the first quartile. If the judges cannot trade the item on its favorability or show a high degree of variability in the judgments, the item is eliminated. The percentage of judges who placed each statement in a different category constitutes the basic data for computing the scale value of a statement. The median position assigned by the judges to the statement is called the scale value of that statement. So let's assume that the average rating among our judges are as follow. We are assuming it should be against the law that is 1.7. There is absolutely nothing with it that is 6.8. It should be a sin 1.3. It should be legalized that comes 9.1 scoring bias. Administration and scoring. Uh, arranged in the random order and administered. Respondents tick mark the statements with which they agree and leave the rest. The weights for the checked statements are summed and divided by the number of the statements checked. Like for example, it should be cleared. And in the next slide, that is the different direct scales for assessing attitude towards the church upon which the scale is constructed. Just an example. And next is Likert scale. Second scale that is the most popular and widely used attitude scale. It was given by Rancis Likert in 1932. It is also known as a submitted rating scale. Respondents indicate the extent to which they endorse the statements like agree or disagree. So start with construction of a Likert scale. First step is collection of the statements. This process doesn't require the categorization of items by a group of judges. Items 50 to 60 are selected on the basis of the response of the subjects to whom they are administered in the course of developing the test. The statements are arranged randomly and have a 5 point rating scale from strongly agree, agree, uncertain, disagree to the strongly disagree. And in case of the Likert scale, the criteria is totally internal consistency. The list is printed and sent out a sample of 200 members of the population concerned. After the respondents are finished with the list, the statements are evaluated for the selection and rejection in the final draft. The number of favorable and the unfavorable statements they should be equal. The sum of the statements credits represents the score of an individual. Scripts are arranged in descending order for total scores. Top 25% and one of 25% scripts are taken out. The mean score and variances of each statement in the top and bottom piles are computed separately. Significance of difference is tested by T ratio. Those statements for which the T test T ratio is equal or greater than 1.96 are suitable for the selection. All the statements are sorted out and arranged in descending order of numerical value of T. Then top 10 to 15 favorable and unfavorable statements are selected and arranged randomly to shape the final draft. Then comes administration and scoring. Final script administered. The mark of the statements, award marks are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The sum of the scores of a respondent represents this total score which can be interpreted in terms of empirically established norms. And in next, this is an example of the Likert scale which you can see example like at scale five examples i have given wikipedia has a user friendly interface respondent take agree next wikipedia is usually my first resource of research strongly agree same third fourth and fifth you can see then comes difference in between thruston and Likert scale that is, in case of thrust and scale, there is agreement or disagreement regarding the statements. But in case of the like cut, that is usually five point scale. A thrust and scale is time consuming, tiring, and 
disordering it requires judges but in case of a likert scale easy and to explain and develop there is no need of the judges it is designed to improve the level of measurement in the social research and that is all about attitude scales now comes what are rating scales rating scale is an important technique of evaluation rating is assessment of one person by another person this is one of the oldest method of personality assessment rating is a term applied to expression of opinion or judgment regarding some situation object or character opinions are usually expressed on a scale or value definition of rating scale is these are the techniques or devices by which judgment may be qualified a rating scale is a device by which opinion concerning a trait can be systematized a rating scale is a set of the categories designed to elicit information about a qualitative or a quantitative attribute then comes type of the rating scales there are four main types of the rating scale among which first is numeric rating scale this is a one of a simplest type of rating scale the rater simply marks a number that indicates the extent to which a characteristic or trait is present the trait is presented is a statement and values from 1 to 5 maximum of 10 are assigned to each trait that is rated in the numerical rating scale the rater puts a check or circles a number to indicate the degree to which a characteristic is present example and circle the appropriate number showing the extent to which people exhibit their skill in questioning question is to what extent does the student participate in discussion like one goes to unsatisfactory second below average third is average fourth is above average and fifth is outstanding answer is two that is ticked by the ticked by the respondent so that is below average second is graphing rating scale as in the case of the numerical rating scale the rater is required to assign some value to a specific trait this time however instead of using predetermined scale values the rating are made in a graphic form of position anywhere along a continuum in rating scale each characteristic is followed by a horizontal line the rating is made by placing a check on the line a set of categories identify specific positions along the line but the rater is free to check between these points next is example of graphing graphing graphic rating scale like horizontal line is drawn on that from 0 to 10 points were marked and 0 that is none to mild moderate severe and and 10 this worst is pain rating scale show kita hoya 0 to si low pain start karde hain and 10 tak sade kol worst possible pain jande ha and in between mild pain upon 2 and 5 moderate pain 8 severe pain and 10 that is very worst pain advantages of the graphing rating scale they are fairly easy to construct they have a fairly high level of user acceptability and they have a face validity then comes descriptive rating scales descriptive rating scales provide for each trait a list of descriptive phrases from which the rater selects the one most applicable item being rated selectively uh, use usually by means of a check mark the descriptions are brief details that convey in behavioral terms how people behave at different steps along the scale only the center and end positions are defined in others a descriptive phrase is placed beneath each point a space for comments is also frequently provided to enable the rater to clarify the rating or to record behavioral incidents per pertinent to the rating or to record behavioral incidents pertinent to the characteristics being rated example wise mark you make you rating on each of the following characteristic by placing an cross anywhere along the horizontal line under each item in the space for comments include anything that help clarify your rating question is to what extent does a student participate in discussion never participate participate more than others and participate as much as others you can put a cross in front of the option which you like percentage rating scale percentage rating is done whenever the investigator wants a quick rating with maximum uniformity from rater to rater the technique requires the rater to place the rates among different specified percentage groups or into different percentiles or quartiles such as given below range of scores that lies between 80 to 100 that comes in between the category a 70 to 79 b 60 to 69 c 45 to 59 d and below 49 that is comes under e category 
एडवांटेजेस ऑफ रेटिंग स्केल रिकॉर्ड्स क्वालिटेटिव एंड क्वांटिटेटिव जजमेंट्स अबाउट ऑब्जर्व परफॉर्मेंस इट मेजर स्पेसिफाइड आउटकम्स और ऑब्जेक्टिव्स ऑफ एजुकेशन डीम टू बी सिग्निफिकेंट और इंपॉर्टेंट टू अ टीचर इट ओवेलुएट प्रोसीजर सच एज प्लेइंग एन इंस्ट्रूमेंट डिमॉन्स्ट्रेटिंग द नर्सिंग प्रोसीजर इट ओवेलुएट प्रोजेक्ट सच एज टाइप लेट और रिस्पॉन्स ऑफ डिमॉन्स्ट्रेशन सैम्पल ऑफ डायग्राम चार्ट इट हेल्प द टीचर्स रेट स्टूडेंट्स प्रोडिकली ऑन वेरियस करेक्टरिस्टिक्स सच एज पंक्चुअलिटी ऑनेस्टी एंड पर्सनल ट्रेट्स इट इज अडेप्टेबल एंड फ्लेक्सीबल इट इज यूज विद अ लार्ज नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स इट रिड्यूज अ सब्जेक्टिविटी एंड द unreliability then comes disadvantages of rating scales it is difficult to fix up rating about many aspects of an individual it misuse its misuse can result in decreased objectivity due to chances of subjective evaluation scales may be unscientific and unreliable lack of uniformity with which terms are interpreted by the evaluated common sources of errors in rating scales that affect the validity of the rater their ambiguity attitude personality of the rater and fourth one is opportunity for adequate observation thanks for